Hey everybody, we're going to talk about another golf characteristic today. We're going to talk about loss of posture. Uh, it seems to affect about 64% of amateurs. Uh, as usual, Amber's going to talk about what it is and what it looks like. And then I'll go through a couple exercises and uh, show you what we can do to help work on that physically. Amber? Thank you, Dan. So Dan's going to be our golfer and our example, our, or our lack of example here. So we're going to go in. When we're talking about loss of posture, the posture and the angle that we're referring to is the angle of the spine here as it meets. We want to try and maintain this through a rotation into the backswing, downswing, and through the follow through. So Dan, go ahead and lose your posture for me. Boom. Okay, so obviously a very extreme version, but when we're talking about it here, so just very small movement, go back slowly, and then people typically raise up and then we lose that spine angle that we had right there at the beginning. Go ahead and relax, Dan. So we want to try to avoid this as much as possible. There are many different reasons why this could occur from lack of mobility in the hips, in the wrists, an inability to control the core as we're rotating. So there's lots of reasons why this might happen. So we're just going to hit a couple of the main ones that we think could be your problem if this is something you suffer with. All right, guys, so we're talking about loss of posture here and a couple exercises that you can do to work on that. Um, some of the easiest are really uh, just anything that kind of works on controlling the core. And the first and one of the greatest ones out there right now and for a long time is and will be the plank. So I'm going to have Amber go ahead. She's going to get down into a plank position, which is elbows and toes. And then the big thing that a lot of people will do, we're going to go ahead and let our back sag here. They're going to let this happen. Now the erectors in the back are what's holding this up. We don't want that. So go ahead and lift your hips back up. We want this spine nice and flat. And then she's going to squeeze her glutes as hard as she can. She's actually trying to get an anterior t or posterior tilt of her pelvis here. And then the only other thing that we want to ask her to do is try to bring her toes and her elbows together. They're actually not going to move, but by engaging that, you really work, really work the anterior core there. That's what we're trying to stabilize here in the plank. So that's the first exercise. Go ahead and relax there, Amber. So that's the plank. The next exercise we want to do is what we call a bird dog. The bird dog's main goal here is to teach core stability while we move other parts around it. So Remember, the lumbar spine is here to stabilize our core, then the thoracic and the hips and everything else move around that stable core. If that core is not stable, other things happen, staying, things get out of whack, pain, and multiple do other things. So what we do to start out in the bird dog, we go to hand, hands and knees. We want the hands directly underneath the shoulders and we want the knees directly underneath the hips. We want to make sure that the back is basically flat. We don't want it exaggerated, go ahead and push down or way up too high. We don't want either of those. You might have heard a cat cow before. So we want to find that neutral position. And in fact, if you do a couple cat cows, find that middle range. That's where you want to be. So we're going to actually kind of give you a couple levels here. Level one is literally maintaining this while you extend one arm. And notice she's reaching it out in a way and the thumb is up to the sky. She brought it under control. We'll take it back down and we're going to do the other arm. Very good. Notice she maintained the core very well. So the next level is just one leg. She's going to push through her heel, straight back, extending, trying to maintain this. All right. She's going to bring it back in. Notice control is always under here as a factor. Then she's going to bring that other leg out, extending through the hip. We don't go ahead and exaggerate this real quick for me. See how she arched her back and everything when she overextended? Because that's what a lot of people will think that they want to do. Now go ahead and bring it back. So this is, now she's just pushing straight through the, the heel instead of trying to think about lifting the leg as high as possible. Okay, go ahead and bring that back down. Now we get to level three, which is the opposite arm and opposite leg. So I'm gonna have her do, doesn't matter which one, but as long as you do like right arm, left leg, or vice versa. Go ahead, notice thumb is still to the sky. She's reaching away, she's pushed through the heel. This all maintained through here. That's a bird dog. And hopefully those will help you with your loss of posture.